All right. This is a quick introduction into the programming assignment, Fatty Burgers 2.0. Now, for this program, you're going to have to do a couple of things here first. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to have to create a nice little GUI here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of labels sitting around here. And I've got some text boxes and a single button. Now, what's going to happen here is you're going to type into you're going to type in a number into these boxes. If I say ten fatty burgers, ten fries, ten shakes, what's going to happen behind the scenes is it's going to multiply. So ten times three fifty, and then that total is going to appear in this label here when you hit order. I click fatty fries ten. Well, you know ten times three fifty, twenty five dollars should appear here. Uh, shakes, one ten times one fifty is fifteen dollars here, and then the grand total will just tally up those totals and display here. When you hit this button, it's just going to do a bit of math, basically in the background. So the first step is to create the GUI. Now there are obvious labels here, and you can name them pretty much whatever you want, but they do have to have the LBL uh, prefix, the BTN, the or BTN rather, the text prefixes. And if you want to shuffle some things around, that's fine, but this is roughly what it should look like when you finish. Uh, we have, of course, some stuff here, and this is a separate label that's just going to change to whatever the total happens to be over here. So I have a grand total of 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 19, 20 labels, three text boxes, and one button on here. Uh, and like I said, you can name them kind of whatever you want. I kind of was on the fence about how strict to make it, uh, to force everybody to name it very specifically. Uh, but it, as long as you can, you know, you name it properly with the proper prefix, I think it's probably better to give people a little bit more freedom. So this is what it's going to look like initially. And when you type in your numbers and hit order, it will change and you'll see the total for each item, and the grand total right here in the bottom. Uh, so pretty simple. If you change the numbers, you hit order again, then this will basically recalculate. So burgers, whatever you typed in, times 350. Uh, fries times 250, and shakes by 150. That's the math. And for that, you'll have to double-click your order button and start doing the coding for that. You remember the variables and the calculations and uh, the previous lectures, uh, it's essentially the same thing. Uh, you'll just do a little math and then you'll change the labels to whatever the grand values of those are at the end, for the subtotals and the grand total. Uh, and that's essentially it. Uh, build the GUI, code the button when you click on it to basically do a little bit of multiplication and addition. Uh, fairly straightforward. Hopefully uh, no one has any issues. If you do, of course, you can always ask. Uh, and you can rearrange, add some more stuff. You want to throw in a picture or two, that's fine. Uh, but as long as the basic stuff that I'm asking for, the subtotals, the totals, the boxes, the stuff are here, you can change it a little bit if you want. And that is Fatty Burgers.